Don't look. Don't, don't look. look. Don't it look. might disappoint you. <laughs> this is Charlotte's Morning Show. Manny, Roy, and Loren. Kiss 95.1. We're so honored to be the fastest growing morning show in Charlotte, the most listened to. In order to pay back, we're paying you literally to listen to us. <laughs> it's called Wake Up and Win. We're going to be announcing another name to give Kiss Miss concert tickets and one Hundred dollars cash too coming up in about ten minutes. Go get the Kiss ninety five one app. Set the alarm feature to our morning show, and then in the app you can tell us what time you wake up to the main Roy and the Ren. And if we call your name at that time, that's how you win. So many people are sending us uh, screenshots of them entering, and they're like, "Pick me, pick me." <laughs> uh, don't be offended if we don't retweet or like the tweet. I think it's against the rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to show favoritism. Uh, no. no, but we uh, have so much money and so many tickets to give out we're doing it all week and like roy said it's just our way of saying thank you for making us the fastest growing morning show here in the queen city in a city that's not that's not easy there's a lot of good radio here bob and sherry ace and tj don't give me Boy billing. i mean they, <laughs> loren they've all been here longer than I know, us they I'm know kidding. yeah i like the way you think though i'll probably yeah. get our off our boss's office after the show a lot of them has been been doing the show longer than i've been alive right you know which I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but <laughs> it, it, take it as a compliment. He didn't just call you old. <laughs> um, so War of the Roses a few weeks ago, um, Ross came on with us after he was on War of the Roses in April. Allie, the, his girlfriend at the time, said that he was acting weird and she wanted to test the relationship. So we did what we do. Mm -hmm. And this is what happened. Um, yeah, just, um, you know, uh, like thinking of you, my love, if that, what just the hell, like Ross, that. Megan, oh. you had one freaking job, which was not to cheat on me. How hard can that be? I mean, all you had to do was send the roses to me, your girlfriend. I mean, oh my God, Ross. So Ross, what? that's your girlfriend, Allie. She's on the phone and my name is not Janelle, it's L Loren and you're on... Minnie, Roy, and Loren in the morning wore the roses. Sorry, buddy. Uh, okay, look, first of all, I'd like to clarify a couple of things. Uh, we are not together. I don't know what she told you, but I'm just I'm trying to distance myself from her in general, and she knows that, so I don't know what she told you what? or what, what y'all think this is. Well, what's your side like of the story, scandalous. Ross? We clearly what? are not getting the same story. What's your side? Well, first of all, we're separated. I need a space from her. I mean, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but she, I'd like to say there's too many red flags on her side. She's kind of crazy. Okay. Don't call me crazy. Are you kidding me? I am not off my rocker. You're the one cheating with someone called Megan. I mean, seriously, after we, what we've been through together. Robert, what have we been, I, I, what have we been through? What, what do you mean? Like what? Three months? That's, that's not like a lot to go yeah, but through. We've you been said I, most of that. But you said I love her on the second date. That was before she threw a shoe at me. You know, like, okay, last time I talked oh to her, she God. said if I don't hey, call her look. back soon, that she would she would end things for me. Like, she was threatening I me. I am stuff. not crazy. It is not over until I say it's over. Oh. So back live now. That was the War of the Roses from April. You know. <laughs> Every time I hear it, it's I like know. I forget how bad it was. Me too. And it's like I almost. Uh, when you hear it back, you're like. I'm on his side. I'm on his side when I hear it back. I'm almost on his side, too. But when you break down the facts of it, Roy, I know. it makes me not uh, want to help Ross. People were against it because what you didn't hear there, we just played a clip of that War of the Roses. Uh, what we didn't hear there is that Allie and he both admitted that they moved furniture weeks prior to this. Right. So he was dating Megan and still, st still doing stuff, moving furniture with Allie, which is not OK. So fast forward to after that War of the Roses, he comes back on the show and he wants us to help him find love. After things went south with Megan, he said they broke up in June, shortly after he was on War of the Roses. He kind of made us feel guilty like we owed it to him. Well, we asked you guys <laughs> to call in and tell us whether or not we should allow Ross to find love on our show. And Nicole said it was very close, but the yes is one. Yeah. So this is what happened after that. Hey. Ross is looking for love after that failed, after, after that War of the Roses and mm -hmm. his failed relationship. And I'm mm -hmm. going to be honest yeah. with you, Ross, a lot of people don't want us to help you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I heard uh, some of that. It was, it was pretty brutal. Uh, now, what's going on? Uh, How come he can't join us live in studio today? Yeah, Ross, why didn't you want us to show your face? 
I don't know, the whole radio kind of aspect of it. Uh, but Ross did send us a picture, which is good. The bad news is, is he's covered his face, but you can go check it out right now at the MRL show, but you can hardly see him. I mean, Ross, okay, what, let's start here. What celebrity do you look like? So I was thinking Jimmy Fallon, but I, I disagree with that, if that makes sense. Uh, someone said that before, but I was like, I don't, I don't see it. Okay, hmm. Fallon. Fallon's not that bad looking. Nope. He's good looking. All right, Ross, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not 100% on board with this. Um, so don't, like, cheat on whoever we hook you up with and make us look bad, <laughs> okay? Uh, okay, but, <laughs> you know, I wasn't really cheating on anyone, just, just a reminder. I get it. Do you want to explain that just for a second? Yeah. Allie we were called on, in. We were on break. Right. I mean, we weren't together, and not only that, we, you know, I was dating a literal crazy, a crazy person who was threatening me. Back live now, and a lot of a lot of you guys agreed. You, I mean, a lot of the comments came through and said they weren't right for each other. Right. He seemed like the sweeter guy. You know, mm. you should help find you know help him find love. So Christy called in, and let me let me get some of that for you. Um, Christy okay. calls in, and here's what that sounds like. Listen to this. Okay, let's see if we can find Ross some love. Christy, welcome to the Main Roar of the Red Morning Show. Hi, thank you. <laughs> wow, you seem very <laughs> eager. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Roy saying you're thirsty for love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christy, you're on with Ross. Go ahead and say hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, Christy, what's up? Um, nothing. How are you? <laughs> I'm I'm fine. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, nice to not really meet you. Um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is like, yeah, I'll be honest. I, I don't have like the the best first impression of me out because uh, I guess you heard the thing, right? Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, the best the best way thing I could tell you is I'm not like a bad guy. And that was a really crazy part of my life that I went through. And it's it's all in the past now. That's just what I'd like to put that out there. I get it. I think we've all been in relationships we shouldn't have been in, and it didn't work out. And I don't, I don't think there's any judgment on my end on that. Okay, cool. Yeah, because it got kind of weird on the radio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a good person. In fact, that's the reason I got out of that is because it was unstable, and I prefer a more stable, more honest type of relationship. Um, so, Christy, the, let's get to the good stuff, yeah, right? I know. Yeah. Let's tell us a little bit about you. Um, okay. Uh, I work for, uh, the Union County School District. Okay. Um, I am, I've been single for a couple months now looking to connect. What, what celebrity would you say you look like? He said he looks like Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, I heard him say that. Uh, Jimmy Fallon's like my celebrity crush. So when I heard him say that, that's kind of like what sealed the deal. Good. Now, just know Ross may not have the personality of Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> or the look. <laughs> All right, everybody simmer down. They haven't even met in person okay. yet. Wait, she didn't yeah, say I who like she looks like. Yeah. I don't think I look like Jimmy Fallon. Now I want to own it. Okay, so so Christy, wh who do you, what's the celebrity you look like? I have gotten, um, and, and let me clarify, I've gotten Britney Spears before, and I want to say not the crazy years, the normal years. Not shaved head Britney. <laughs> not shaved head Britney, no. And by the way, that conversation goes on for about another three minutes and it doesn't get any more less awkward. <laughs> yes. They do ultimately, we end up sending them out to Queen Park Social, send them, sending them out on a date uh, just to see if the two kindle a relationship. If they hit it off. Yeah. We tell Ross, hey, we sent him out. We paid for the date. We tell Ross, call us when you go on the date, right? So we're in our po post-show meeting the other day. We said to Nicole, follow up with Ross. He was supposed to hit us up. So leave it to Ross to go out on the date and not tell us that he went on a date. So basically we oh, paid for it without an update. Yeah. Well, I have a theory behind that then. Well, Nicole, being the super producer she is, said, no, you're both coming on. So we'll have them on tomorrow at this time, 7.50 for a recap <laughs> on how the date went. And I heard it was interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll say that. Now we do have $100 cash and Kissmas concert tickets to give to you. That's all coming up here in about five minutes. 